Hey there. Well, welcome to October. It is October 3rd. This is going to be our update for the uh, various cities that we look at, that we've been looking at each month. It's uh, September versus August. We are having uh, a little bit of a heat wave here in Los Angeles. Down here on the west side, it's pretty warm here today. You typically don't see 80s uh, near the beach areas, but we are having them this whole week. So not much has changed as far as interest rates from last month to this month. They did go down a little bit, but let's go ahead and look at those. Your 30-year fixed is 6.20% with the APR at 6.25%. Your 15-year fixed is 5.92% with the APR being at 5.50%. Your 30-year fixed FHA is 6.11% and that APR is 6.16%. And then your 30-year jumbo fixed is at 6.36%. And the APR is at 6.91%. Kind of stable, pretty stable from last week. Now, in looking at various websites and reading various opinions, uh, with the inflation's not moved a whole lot, the Fed cut announcement, it looks like things are going to kind of remain a little steady for right now. We are actually in a neutral market. Last month, we were... And still a little bit of a seller's market, but it has dropped. There's more inventory on the market. Prices have come down a little bit. Now, that's not in every single city. When you're talking with your real estate agent, make sure you talk to them about what's going in that specific area that you're looking for. And then when you're talking to your lender, remember, there are a lot of different programs out there for first-time buyers. Uh, a lot of times you can get a seller to buy points down for you, but over those things with your loan officer. I do want to state that um, things are probably going to change because we've just experienced, not us personally, but on the East Coast, Tennessee, the Carolinas, and Florida, they're going through this horrible, horrible disaster. This hurricane, these rains that came down so fast. There are a lot of lives that are lost. There's homes that are lost. There's pets that are lost. It's just ugly. I'm from the South and I actually know a lot of these cities and these areas and it's going to take a long time to recover from it. So our prayers and our hearts go out to all the families and the families that have families there and we are hoping for the best. Now let's go look at our different cities and see what's going on September to August. Starting in Culver City with the single family homes for the month of September, 13 sold. There are 80 active on the market in September. Your median list price was $1,699, but your median sold price was $1,585. The average days to sell were 14 days. Now with condos, your condos sold in September were 16. Active on the market were 71. Your median list price was 694,000, while your median sold price was 663,000. And your average days to sell a condo in Culver City in the month of September were 30. So on the wrap up, what this is telling you for your single family homes, September versus August, the list price was up guys, but if you take a look at your median sold price, it came down. Look for list prices to be just a little bit down this month. Negotiating works. You can tell this by looking at the difference of the median list price and the median sold price. So like I said, look for those prices on your single family homes in the Culver City area to come down a little bit. Condos, totally different story. The list price and the sold price both did increase. The same number sold. So prices are up on condos in Culver City. Moving on to Brentwood. In September, the single family homes, there were 15 that sold. There are 105 on the market. The median list price was $6,112,000, while your median sold price was $4,080,000. Average days to sale were 48. 
with your condos, there were 12 that were sold in the month of September. Active on the market are 71. The median list price for condos in September was $1,199,950, while your median sold price was $1,053,500, and your average days to sell were 38. Now to wrap that up, with the single family home, September versus August, more homes sold, but only by one. But the list price, even though it increased, the sold price decreased, and it did take longer to sell. So look for those list prices, that median list price to come down a bit in Brentwood for the month of September. On the condos, the list price went down, the sold price increased. I actually think the list price and the sold price are pretty much in line with each other on condos for the month of September. Okay, let's move to Santa Monica. Let's look at the single family homes for the month of September. So 17 were sold. There are 108 single family homes in Santa Monica on the market today. The median list price was 3,995,000, while your median sold price was 3,299,000 with an average day to sell of 25. With your condos, there were 23 sold in September. Active on the market are 196 condos. Your median list price was $1,399,000 and your median sold price was $1,051,000 with your average days to sell were 45. So to sum that up, September to August in Santa Monica, quite a few more homes are on the market, guys. There are a few more that sold by the number four from August. Your median list price did increase a bit, but guess what? Your median sold price did decrease and the homes are selling faster. So I do believe Santa Monica in the month of September is uh, was a little bit of a hot market. So it may be a buyer's market at this point. Take a look. Let's look at the condos. There were more on the market and less sold. Both the list price and the sold price did decrease and it was a big jump on the list price. List price dropped in September from August over $300,000. Here you go, another buyer's advantage in Santa Monica on both condos and, and single family homes. So here in October, if you wanna look in Santa Monica, it's a good time to be looking. Okay, let's move over to the beachside Marina Del Rey. In the month of September with your single family homes, there were nine sold. There were 46 active on the market. Your median list price was $2,075,000 while your median sold price was $1,525,000. That's a $500,000 difference, guys, on your median list and sold price. Average days to sell were 32. In the condominiums, there were 17 sold. Active on the market were 125. Your median list price was $1,230,000 while your median sold price was $1,200,000, a little bit closer. Average days to sell were 51. So wrapping up Marina Del Rey, September to August, not a whole lot going on in that market, guys. Only one more home sold, one more um, listed. Uh, not a lot of movement going on there. In the single family homes, there's going to have to be a real price adjustment as far as the median list prices. And it's taking a lot longer um, average days to sell the single family homes. On the condos, your median list price and your median sold price were a little bit better. They were a lot closer to each other. However, there's an awful lot of condos on the market. And as I said, only one sold in the month of September. And again, the average days to sell the condos it's a lot longer in September as well. Okay, let's move over to Marina Del Rey's sister city of Playa Del Rey. So for single family homes in the month of September, three sold. Uh, active on the market were 15. Your median list price was 2,400,000, while your median sold price was 2,075,000. Average days to sell were 35. With condos, there were nine sold in September. Active on the market, there were 30. The median list price 
was $760,000 while the median sold price was $740,000 and the average days to sell were 56. So to recap, single family homes, both single family homes and condos, there were less homes on the market for both of them and less homes sold in September. However, with single family homes, your median list and sold price did decrease while with your condos, your median sold and list price increased. Now that list price increase was only about $10,000, but they were a lot, the condos list price and sold price were a whole lot closer, like I said, by about $10,000 than your single family homes were. And average days to sell for both single family homes and condos took a lot longer in September to sell. All right, let's move up to the Silver Lake Echo Park area. With single family homes, there were 22 that sold in September. Active on the market were 144. Your median list price was a million five forty nine. That's a million five hundred forty nine thousand. Your median sold price was a million two hundred eighty seven thousand five hundred. Your average days to sell were thirty one. With the condos, there were eight that sold in September. There were twenty two active on the market. Your median list price was $675,000, where your median sold price was $755,000. And average days to sell were 27. So in recapping Silver Lake Echo Park, with single family homes, there were more homes on the market and more homes sold September versus August. Remember, we're just doing September versus August. Your median list price did increase a little bit by about $4,000 and your median sold price did decrease. Um, with condos, there were less homes sold and on the market, so it seems like there's more single family homes selling there. Your median list price and your median sold price both decreased with condos. The average days to sell for both single family homes and condos were on the market longer, so it did take them longer to sell in September. Okay, let's move up to Pasadena. In the month of September for single family homes, eight sold. Active on the market were 40, 42 homes. The median list price was 2,298,000, while the median sold price was 200, excuse me, 2,397,750. ,000, Average days to sell were 25. With condos, the same number sold as single family homes, eight. Active on the market were 17. Median list price was around $904,000, while your median sold price was $939,500. Average days to sold were 42. So in wrapping up Pasadena, September to August, very interesting guys. Both single family homes and condos had a lot less homes on the market. Single family homes, it went from 42 in September from the 190 in August. That's telling me that a lot of sellers pulled their homes off the market. That's the same thing with the condos because condos, it was 17 in September and 183 in August. So a lot of sellers most likely we're still filling a seller's market and they were overpriced on their properties and they pulled them off the market. Your median list price in the single family homes increased. So did your median sold price. And they did sell faster in September. It was only by three days, but nonetheless, single family homes did sell faster in September. As I said, with condos, Less homes in the market, you went from 17 homes in September, and there were 183 in August. Again, properties being pulled off the market. I think it's a buyer's market up there, guys. Uh, median price, list price for condos, uh, did increase, and so did your median sold price increase. Average days to sale was only one. It took longer, I'm going to say it was even Steven instead of took longer to sell because it's just one day. Okay, our last city of La Cunada Flint Ridge. In the month of September, single family homes, 11 sold. 
Active on market were 58. Your median list price in September was 2,899,000. Your median sold price was 2,135,000. Average days to sell were 27. With the condos, we only had one sold in September. We had two active on the market. Your median list price is 1248000 Well, 1247499 Okay, 1247500 Your median sold price is 1570000 And average days on the market to sell were 20, well, excuse me, were 45. So to do a wrap up of La Cunada Flint Ridge, September to August, guys, there was not a whole lot going on up there. In your single family homes, there were less homes sold and on the market, but not by very much. Your list and sold prices did decrease from September to August, but again, not by a whole lot. The sold price did come down about uh, $400,000. Your average days to sell did sell a little bit faster with your single family homes. With the condos, same thing. One more home, one less home sold, and one less home was on the market for September versus August. And your median list price decreased while your median sold price increased. Somebody was happy. Your average days to sell really did come down quite a bit. So the homes that, the condos that did sell in September sold a whole lot faster. Thank you for watching. And again, I'm Lori Lynn with Living in Los Angeles, California. Now, whether you're moving in nine or 90 days, if you're coming in from outside of LA or you're in LA moving from one city to the other, reach out to us so that we can help you make a smooth move here. Now, all our information is down there in the about section. You'll find our phone number, our email, our text, we love helping people make a smooth move because we remember when we made that move and it wasn't so smooth. So let us help.